Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently, Microsoft rolled out their Windows 10 and Windows 11 Patch Tuesday updates. And for Windows 11 version 22H2, the update as posted was KB5027231. And I'll leave a link down below to that video. Now, just to give you a quick heads up, if you haven't heard already, um, there are reports now from users that after installing the Windows 11 22H2 update, 5027231, that um, Malwarebytes antivirus is apparently uh, causing issues with Google Chrome, where Google Chrome, for some users using Malwarebytes, uh, it's preventing Google Chrome from, from displaying um, correctly after loading the actual browser. So obviously this is a bit of a cause for concern for some users. And according to reports, it's only affecting Windows 11 version 22H2 and not Windows 10. And there's no reports yet if this is affecting Windows 11 21H2. But if anything changes, obviously I'll let you know in that regard. Now, and Malwarebytes say they are on this and they are aware of the issue and they are looking into the issue. And they have provided a couple of workarounds um, if Google Chrome, after applying the update, is not launching properly or working as expected if you are using uh, the Malwarebytes antivirus. Now, the first thing you can try to do uh, is you can set Google Chrome as your default browser. And there are one or two ways to do this. Uh, you can head to your settings in Windows 11 22H2, head over to your apps, click on default apps, and on the default apps page, you just scroll down till you get to Google Chrome. Click on that. And yeah, you can see at the top, set default. And you click on that and that will set Google Chrome as your default browser. And another way you can set Google Chrome as default uh, in the actual browser would be to head to your menu settings, head over to default browser. And if it isn't your default browser already, you can click on the little button that will appear there, set as default. So that's just one or two ways you can set Google Chrome as a default web browser. And another um, um, solution you can try and work around you can try is um, Malwarebytes. Um, they say that you can turn off Chrome as a protected application in the Malwarebytes product itself in the actual app. And you can find this in settings in the security tab. And once you've clicked on the security tab, which will appear here at the top, um, you click on manage protected applications. This little sub menu protected applications will open up. And here you can see you can actually turn off Google Chrome as a protected application. And they say that should resolve the issue. And uh, if none of these um, workarounds are actually working and solving your issue, um, there have also been reports that disabling exploit protection in the actual Malwarebytes product itself um, will also um, could, in a lot of circumstances, resolve the issue in a lot of cases. So those are a couple of the workarounds. And as mentioned, Malwarebytes say they are currently working on an update that will address this problem. So I just wanted to put it out there, just give you a heads up, as mentioned, if you hadn't heard that there are issues between Google Chrome and Malwarebytes after applying the latest patch Tuesday update for Windows 11 version 22H2 KB5027231. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.